It is interesting that on this occasion of the transfiguration, Jesus does not go up the mountain alone to pray. He decides to take with him Peter, James, and John, three of his closest disciples. He had recently begun to share with them his sense that he would be put to death. This was not their idea of how things should work, and these conversations rattled their faith. Perhaps Jesus knew that it was important to have them with him when he went up the mountain to pray this time. Their experience of being present to witness Jesus being transfigured and hearing the words of affirmation spoken from out of the cloud would have strengthened their faith in who Jesus was. The experience is so powerfully consoling that they want to make a permanent dwelling place so that Moses and Elijah will stay there. Most significantly, hearing the voice affirming Jesus as the beloved son is a powerful confirmation that Jesus is even greater than the law and the prophets. He is the Messiah, the one waited for. We know that even though they were told not to talk about what they had experienced, that they grappled with it and that they talked about its significance among themselves. The disciples had witnessed Jesus performing miracles, but here they share a powerful experience of something miraculous happening to Jesus himself. They are part of this key moment in the life of Jesus. After the initial shock of Jesus' death, as they lived into the realization of his resurrection, they had already seen a foreshadowing of it. They were able to think back to the day when they had seen Jesus transfigured in glory. Let's reflect. What have I recently witnessed or encountered that has given me a sense of hope or a glimpse of a new reality? Or perhaps spend some time in your imagination talking with one of the disciples who witnessed the transfiguration. Ask what the impact of this experience was on them and listen for their response. Mm -hmm.